And Fox 35 continues to investigate the tornado dead zone. We first told you about this problem yesterday. Today, we uncovered that the feds know about it and they have no plans to fix it. Fox 35's Daniel Lama continues our team coverage. The feds say they know there are gaps in the radar coverage. They did a study on it and concluded those gaps do not need to be filled. I don't like that idea at all. At all. There's a lot of people here. And to know that that could go on and we would never know, now that's scary. Fox 35 uncovering a tornado dead zone in north central Florida. National Weather Service officials say some of their radars may be too far to detect small tornadoes that develop lower to the ground, like the one that popped up in Ocala over the weekend. Part of the region out of reach is the Villages, which was the fastest growing metro area in the country over the past decade. I think it's um, critically important that early warning is as part of the notification system for people so that they can you know, take shelter and be aware of things. NOAA has studied the holes in radar coverage. According to this report, they found that the poor radar coverage does not make much of an impact on warnings. They concluded that the 143 radars they have now carry out the mission of protecting life and property. We reached out to NOAA for an interview, but they said no one was available. They sent us a statement instead saying in part, NEXTRAD data helps forecasters detect severe weather, but the study found forecasters use a variety of other tools and data sets. Ultimately, our forecasters are the most important element to creating and delivering clear, actionable warnings. The NWS did not issue a warning for the recent tornado in Marion County. Not only is the radar they rely on far away, but it was down for maintenance. People who live in this area don't want to be caught off guard. If the early warning systems aren't in place, how do we know? The NWS radar in the Tampa area covers Sumter County. Local emergency management officials say that train spotters have become crucial in providing information about weather on the ground. In the Villages, Daniel Lama, Fox 35 News.